The Korean War ended with an armistice, not a peace treaty. That fact isn't felt by most people going about their daily lives, but for South Korea's 82nd Battalion, it's the backbone of daily life. Our Na Young-kyung has the story. This is one of the most heavily guarded borders on Earth, a clear reminder of the seven-decade-long division of the peninsula. This underground tunnel, dug by North Korean troops, is one of four discovered in the 1970s. The two Koreas are still technically at war, which is why South Korean men still do about two years of mandatory military service. With North Korea claiming to have miniaturized nuclear weapons and its reportedly successful test of a submarine-launched ballistic missile, the Korean Peninsula is a little more tense than usual. The South Korean military must be ready to fight at all times, which means practicing wartime scenarios. The 82nd Tank Battalion pride themselves in being the nation's best battalion. About 300 soldiers are stationed here, and they conduct this kind of exercise twice a year to boost the military readiness. More than 30 tanks, including K-1s, recovery, and commanding tanks, have been mobilized for this drill, taking place near the 82nd Garrison. The training focuses on enhancing team cooperation, making sure soldiers in a tank understand and effectively carry out the roles of each position. The tank gunnery training improved our firing. I'm confident that our unit, even as of now, is capable of working together to fulfill any kind of mission. Visitors and even locals often forget they're in a potential war zone. But they should remember that with rigorous training, South Korea's military is prepared to defend the nation against any possibility. Na Hyun-kyung, Arirang News.